Have you ever heard of cauliflower pizza crust? Being a food blogger, I see it all the time. I've never actually made one, so I'm gonna whip one up now, and I can't wait for the results. I've got a half a head of cauliflower, and I just cut it into chunks. I'll throw it into the food processor, and I'm gonna let the food processor grind it up. I'm gonna pulse it until it's really fine. My food blogging friend told me to keep going until it looks like snow, and I think I'm about there. Yeah, looks like snow, all right. Take the blade out, and I'll get this into a bowl. I'll cover this with some plastic wrap, too. I've got a fork, and I'll just poke a couple times. Now, this goes into the microwave. I'm going to draw out the moisture and soften it a bit. That's going to take about four minutes. From what I understand, the secret to cauliflower crust is getting all of the moisture out of the cauliflower. So I'll take the plastic wrap off, and I have a thin towel here, and I'll dump the cauliflower right on there, and I'll let it cool for a couple minutes until I can wring out all the moisture. Now I'm going to fold this up, get it nice and tight in there and I'll wring all this moisture right into the same bowl that I cooked it in. Gosh, I cannot believe how much water is in the cauliflower naturally. I got all of the moisture squeezed out of the cauliflower, so I'm breaking it up a bit, and I've got a few more things to add to the crust. I'll crack in an egg, some mozzarella. I'll save the rest of this to go on top of the pizza. I'll also add in some grated Parmesan and Italian seasoning, just keeping it simple. A little salt and pepper, of course. Now I'll stir this all together and see what it looks like. I've got some parchment paper on here so the crust won't stick to the pan. I'll start by getting it into a ball. Gosh, it's so easy to work with. Now I'll press it into a crust. One secret I've heard about cauliflower pizza crust is you want to bake it super thin. Now I'll get this into a 425 degree oven for about 15 minutes. It smells so good and it looks amazing. I think I could just break off a piece and eat that right now. I'll put the sauce on the crust. Again, I don't want to add too much moisture, so I'll just put a thin layer. I think that should be enough. Okay, that looks like a good amount. The rest of the mozzarella goes on. Gosh, I cannot imagine how good this pizza is gonna be. I'm gonna put this back into the oven until the cheese is melted. That crust got even more deep golden. Oh, I can't wait to try this. I'm gonna grab some basil. I'm not gonna slice it up, just gonna grab big leaves and I'll tear big pieces right onto the pizza. Gosh, what a pretty pizza. 